Today, we're gonna to be going over all the Air Jordans set to release this month in October. We're gonna be talking about styles, cuts, materials, rarity, resale prices, all the different things. So let's go ahead and get started with sneaker number one. And that's the Black Canvas Air Jordan 4. So these were set to release earlier in the month, but then they got pushed back on Sneakers app and some stores did release the shoe already. So let me know down below in the comment section if you're able to get the shoe or not. And if you plan on still going after these for release drop. Now these are gonna be considered to be like the Carhartt knockoff Air Jordan 4 PE sample version that comes to the public that everybody else got. And the sample collectors are gonna be mad about the whole situation and all the different stuff. But at the end of the day, it's an all black Air Jordan 4. You can never go wrong with it. The shoe looks like it's pretty clean and pretty nice. And I think a lot of people are gonna wanna have this shoe, especially saying the Black Cat Air Jordan 4 did so well. Could this potentially be a $700 sneaker? I'm not exactly sure. We shall see when the time comes. But at the end of the day, I can definitely see a lot of people are gonna wanna have this. So let me know how you feel about these down below in the comment section. Now let's take it to the next shoe. And that's gonna be the Split Air Jordan 1 Mid. These are similar to the Scarface joints, and I talked about these in the last month's update video, but apparently they got pushed back. I'm not sure there's gonna be too much demand behind this sneaker. I think if you do wanna get these, you're gonna be able to get them for retail. You shouldn't have too much struggle, so. And I mean, yeah, honestly, a lot of shoes are sitting right now, or a lot of shoes are selling for retail or below retail, so this might even be a sneaker that you can get for below retail. Let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA show. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low IE or wood brown. Now these look more like a, just like kind of maybe a tan or like a sail kind of color with a gray on the upper. I'm not sure exactly where all the brown is, but when we, let me click it on it and see if they got any more detailed images. Okay, yeah, it's kind of got that brown undertone in the outsole as well, but either way, very clean shoe. I think this could potentially be a sneaker that sits on shelves goes underneath retail people are able to get it if they like it everybody knows the 11 low ies they be squeaking for some reason i don't know a reason why but i i don't know i mean the newer pairs i haven't noticed it as much but i know definitely the older ones from you know 10 years ago all those previous retros that we had saw they always be squeaking let me know if your 11 low ies be squeaking uh if you want a video to learn how to fix that as well i can make a video on that i've never made a video about that topic before but this next one right here the Air Jordan 3 black and gold. Now these right here, these are clean. They got that vintage vibe with the cell colored midsole and the black cement Air Jordan 3 vibes all around the upper. And then the gold hits instead of the gray on the tongue, around the eye stay, and the back end around the collar. So for these in particular, I heard they were supposed to be a women's release. Let me click and see real quick what these things are talking about. As of right now, retail 200 bucks. Is this a women's release or a men's release or both or what's going on? It's kind of hard to tell. I thought this was a women's release only. Let me know down below in the comment section. I haven't had time to uh, get all the information on all these sneakers. I'm just kind of scrolling on here, looking and seeing, but either way, definitely a very clean shoe. I think we'll fly underneath the radar and then eventually over time, people are gonna be going after these and they're gonna want them. And the next thing you know, it's gonna be that $350 shoe, that $400 shoe. Um, you know, obviously the sneaker market way it is now, everything is pretty much cheaper, right? So this is a great time to buy a lot of shoes that you really want and be able to get them at affordable prices instead of waiting until later. And then next thing you know, the shoes double the price that it was today. Next up on the list, we have the Air Jordan 1 High Metallic. These things are hideous. I don't want to spend too much time talking about this shoe because I don't really have too many good things to say. Looks like they have a satin kind of material on the upper with that fanny pack on the back apple bottom jeans boots with the fur either way these things are not it 170 dollars retail man i could can you actually envision yourself paying 170 dollars retail for this sneaker let me know down below i mean don't get me wrong buy what you like buy what you like but these right here <laughs> yeah these ain't gonna cut it bro next up we got the air jordan 12 floral now these look like they're gonna be in a kid size you got that floral stitch on the back side giving you those taxi air jordan 12 vibes except for with the gold eye stays at the top you have a black right there with the black laces we've seen something like this before with the royalty something similar but this is gonna be a kid's version I think this is cool for kids if they like it, um, but personally, it would not be a cop. Let me know what you think about them down below in the comment section. Also for all these sneakers right here, I'm gonna have all the details when it comes to like release dates, retail prices, style code numbers, all those different things. I'll have that all for you guys linked down below in the description so you can 
can go through and see them in order based off of what I was talking about. And then you can kind of find access to them, different websites and different things like that. And if you want to see any particular how to cop videos on any of these ones, some of the little bit harder shoes to get or anything like that, let me know and I'll try to get those out for you guys as well. Now, let's take it to the next shoe right here. We got another Air Jordan 3, and this is a Winter Rise. Now, we've seen the Winter Rise Jordan 4, but this is the Air Jordan 3 right here. And this has got that brown kind of tan sail kind of vibe, giving you that patchwork look like we've seen in the past with the embroidery on the front and the back end where the elephant print normally is. I like it. I'm not mad at this shoe. I think these are solid. What's the retail price on them? That's the question. Mmm, $210. Whew. Prices are getting up there, bro. <laughs> Let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. I think it is a clean shoe. I think you can't go wrong with them. I think uh, 210 is hefty, especially for something like this. Um, but with the fall and the winter season time coming, I think everybody will appreciate this shoe. I think it probably will sit on shelves as well. And you'll be able to get them maybe um for a discount or on sale somewhere could this potentially be an outlet sneaker i don't know let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about these all right you guys we got to take a quick break we're on our way to a meeting right now so i have to make sure that i'm there on time actually let me see what's what next on the list i can't i can't be doing this and driving let me i'll just see you guys in a minute i'm gonna show you when we get there a few minutes later now i know you think this is what you think it is. You're probably wrong. Here you go. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at this shoe. I forgot, we gotta get back to the video. Let's just take it to the next shoe. And that is the Air Jordan 1 Low Retro White Toe. Now for this one, I'm not really digging the color blocking that they chose on these. Red, black, and white is something that we commonly see on a lot of Air Jordan sneakers. But this one right here, definitely not doing it for me. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Should be a pretty easy cop. Now next up on the list might be one that a lot more people are gonna be going after. Me personally, I'm not really feeling them. Maybe I need to see them in person, but as of right Right now the green is throwing me off and that's the canyon purple air jordan 4. i talked about these a few months ago we thought they were coming out they got pushed back and they got pushed back again i think and hopefully this is the last time they get pushed back and the shoe finally comes out but these right here are also known as the poor man's travis scott i hate when people use that term but i guarantee you that's what a lot of people are going to say this shoe is very unique and <laughs> trust me if i put them next to each other they are way different than each other so i wouldn't even compare them in that same category but again that's a whole nother topic whole number conversation let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section do you like this shoe are you planning on going after these for me i might go after them i might not i don't know maybe if i just want to see them in hand but i don't think it's a cop for me i'm probably gonna pass on this one let me know what you think down below in the comment section so we got four more sneakers left on the list but i haven't ate all day so i'm about to grab some food real quick and i'll be right back at you all right y'all so i got my food it is extremely hot so i'm gonna let this cool down real quick and we're gonna go over a couple more shoes while we do that next up right here we have the air jordan 7 se afro beats these are going to be a very interesting shoe i'm excited to see these in person and make my final decision on these i can't tell exactly how the materials are going to be if they're going to be nice or not let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section we know that there's been a lot of air jordan 7s that's been coming around it's kind of got that pattern similar to the bin 7s that we saw in the past on the back in kind of like embossed on there and everything so i'm interested to hear the whole backstory i haven't done too much research on this shoe as well so i definitely need to do some little education on it but here's a crazy touch typically on the back end of the shoe uh as well there's like that you know like that v and there's a seven in there and some people didn't know there's a seven inside the back end of that but on these ones in particular there's a nike air embroidered on the heel of the foot so that's definitely a different touch because we're normally used to seeing out on the threes fours fives and sixes and then the seven is where it stops with the nike air and then you got different branding on the shoes as the models go up i think a lot of people that get the shoe that appreciate the shoe and like it for what it is they are going to like the shoe i think it is definitely something different all black outsole black midsole easy to rock you can wear this in the fall time especially with a lot of different outfits so i think people are going to appreciate these i'm on the fence with it i would say i'm leaning towards not a cop but at the same time it's still 50 50 so it's again there's no right or wrong answer buy what you like at the end of the day but for me that's kind of how i'm feeling about them uh let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section and let's take it to the next shoe we talked about these before didn't we i swear we talked about it maybe we i don't know the air jordan one high og starfish so as you guys know i'm not too big of a fan of orange colored sneakers i do have some in my collection yes but I'm very selective with the ones that I do cop just because I, I don't know. I've always been a go ducks type of guy. So for me on these in particular, I'm not really a big fan. Any of the starfish stuff that has come out in the past or a shattered backboard series, any of those ones like that. I've owned all of them. 
and every single time I give them a chance and the next thing you know I end up getting rid of them because I don't like them and it just doesn't really stick with me so for me these are definitely going to be a pass it looks like they came correct when it comes to the materials on the shoe let me look around real quick yeah I mean it looks like a solid shoe like a lot of people that like orange or the inside of the sock liner looks almost kind of like a chenille more like you know kind of like a towel compared to like that more satin smoother finish on it but i know for me it's going to be a pass when it comes to this shoe now my food should be cooled down by right now let me show you guys what i got i got a mac and cheese right here for montage this is about to be fire somebody eat this food real quick we're gonna head back to the house and finish the last couple shoes and then i'm gonna show you guys a deeper look at these j balvin oh yeah that's nice montage a lot this shit is still hot though sheesh so i stopped eating cheese like a year ago my wife is vegan so i got the vegan mac and cheese their mac and cheese is fire and uh, it's vegan so that gives me the option to eat cheese still so i don't really eat cheesy things that often anymore so you know, I'm enjoying this right now. It's been a while. All right, we got two more shoes left right here. And uh, this next one, I think, might be one of the most anticipated, at least one of the most anticipated Air Jordans of this month. And that's going to be the Air Jordan 4 Midnight Navy. This is set to release at the end of the month. And I think a lot of people are going to be going after these. They're very similar to the white cement. You can't go wrong with them. It's got the Navy vibes. Uh, we've seen something similar to this before with the golf version, different things like that. Either way, at the end of the day, I think a lot of people are going to like this shoe. Going to be happy campers. And I feel like they did a solid job when it comes to the materials. We shall see when we get the shoe in hand. But I know for me, for sure, this is definitely going to be a cop. I need to get these in my collection. Um, let me check on the back tab to see if this is Nike Air or Air Jordan. I think it's Jordan. Yeah, it's got a Jordan Jumpman on the back end of the shoe. Makes sense. Not an OG colorway. I'm not mad at that. I know a lot of people would appreciate it if it did have a Nike Air on the back. But at the end of the day, I think everybody will still be happy with it. They'll still be fine. So let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. The Trophy Room Air Jordan 7. Now these right here, I feel like there's going to be some type of drama. I know it's an Air Jordan 7, so it's not like the ones from the past. We've seen all this stuff. But either way, when you think about it, all the Trophy Room models always have a resale value. They end up going up in price. People are starting to get hip to the thing, and they know that it's a limited shoe. You name it, the conversation goes on. Either way, everybody likes talking about this shoe. As soon as these were revealed, I know everybody was going crazy. I'm very iffy about the colorway. I feel like it's solid. It's cool. It gives me kind of like that Carmine vibe onto an Air Jordan 7 with more of a navy blue compared to the whites and the blacks. But either way, I think it is a clean shoe. Um, let's look at the pictures real quick and see a little bit more what's going on. I think there's going to be some cool details with this. Looks like that was from the Olympics back in 1992. So it commemorates things like that. It's got the signature on the back end of the heel. The gold jump man right there. Looks like some cool details on the shoe, honestly. I think... Uh, like, oh yeah, it's got the tab right there on the inside of the foot as well. 1992 right there. So I think they're going to tell a good story through the Olympics, him wearing that shoe back in 92 and all the stuff like that. But I don't know. I'm just like, is this going to be top sneaker of the year? Is this going to be another problem uh, sneaker? You know, everything that was going on with Trophy Room last time and everything that happened with the ones. I'm just interested to see how it all plays out. I hope this is a pretty smooth cop. I hope the people that want to get this shoe are able to get this shoe. And please let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts.